Hi everyone, this is Chris Stapenhurst, Product Manager for Veritas Advanced Supervision. In this short demo, I'm going to provide you the ability to see for yourselves three key features which may drastically improve your communication surveillance workflows. I'm going to demonstrate to you our automated content classification capabilities via the Veritas Information Classifier to both identify noise as well as relevant content. It can look at for things like disclaimers, newsletters, and automated generated email to automatically remove those or, or highlight those in your review queue. And it can do the same for relevant content as well, like customer complaints, money laundering, insider trading, and so much more. All of these policies are built in and are also highly customizable so that you can either create your own or leverage the lexicons and logic that come pre-built within the system. I'm also going to do a demonstration of our intelligent review capabilities. Our machine learning engine that's built right into the system that passively automatically sits there and learns from your reviewer actions to be able to predict relevance on new items coming into your review queues. One of the benefits of this model is it leverages a TAR 2.0 approach to continuous active learning. It doesn't require a training set. It doesn't require maintenance. You turn it on and it works automatically in the background for you and your reviewers. And then lastly, I'm going to demonstrate to you our Microsoft Teams collaboration view so that your reviewers can review Teams content in full context, allowing them to fully understand exactly what's going on in a conversation, minimizing the time it takes to interpret and review those items. And so let's move on to that first demonstration. Here's what an item looks like once it's been automatically classified and brought into the review queue. This item here has been classified as a customer complaint. We can see exactly why it was actually classified as a customer complaint based on a couple of items. The hit highlighting shows the words that have actually identified this as a complaint. We're looking at things like irregular activity, suffered considerable financial losses, increasingly distressed, and so on. We can also see that the sentiment score associated to this particular item is also very negative. And this contributes as well to the classification of this particular item. And so this helps us focus on those items of concern by surfacing that content directly to your reviewers. You can um, create specific searches that look for particular tags. You can also leverage uh, tagged filters to be able to classify on things that are important to you, or in the case of noise that are unimportant and that you may want to quickly bulk review and, and redact out of your review sets. The next demonstration that I want to show to you is that of intelligent review. Intelligent review automatically predicts any new item that comes into the system based on previous department reviewer actions. In this case, it's predicting um, items that are marked either irrelevant or that items that will be marked as relevant. Not only does it provide that prediction, but it also gives you the machine learning score so you can see how relevant or irrelevant it, a particular item might be. So if you're going in there and you're bulk marking a bunch of junk to be able to exclude it from your review queue and you notice that it has a high relevant score, that may make you take pause and, and, and pay a little bit closer attention to the actions that you're doing within the system. Beyond that, we also provide a mechanism via a permission that you can give to specific reviewers if you want them to specifically look at content that you want the engine to pay particular attention to. And so in this case, this reviewer identifies that this is an auto-generated email is probably the kind of sentence that they may want to have the system add additional focus on when it's looking for items that are considered irrelevant. And so with this, uh, intelligent review system, this can greatly automate workflows within your environment. And then lastly, I want to demonstrate to you our capability to, to um, preview Microsoft Teams content natively within a solution. As you can see here, we actually uh, don't show Microsoft Teams as an email format like many other solutions do. In fact, what we do is we provide that conversation texture that exists across the conversation to show not only things like embedded attachments, which you can also access directly through the review queue, but we look at um, hit highlighting that you can see um, directly within your uh, Teams collaboration view, as well as things like reactions 
So let me find a reaction for you right here. Here's a reaction. We can actually see who reacted, how they reacted, and when they reacted, and whether or not that item had been edited since the time that it was created. And all of that is made available directly within the Microsoft Teams collaboration view inside of Veritas Advanced Supervision. We hope that you've enjoyed these quick demonstrations and have seen the value of what they could provide for you and your review teams. And should you require any additional information, please contact your Veritas account team or reach out to us via veritas.com. Thank you for your time. And have a great day.